This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Good morning. Here we are with uh, another day of revelation, another day of beauty, and another day in the Lord Jesus Christ. What a beautiful day. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I always like that statement. It's let not let us rejoice. It's we will rejoice and be glad in it. It's pretty much a mandatory, not an option. So let's rejoice. And we can rejoice in the Word. Today I'm at chapter 2, uh, verses 8 through 11. Very short, but very important here because we're writing to the church at Smyrna. Now, John wrote down, Tell Smyrna this is their message from the first and the last, he who is risen from the grave and lives. I know your works, I know your suffering and your poverty, but you're actually very wealthy. You don't see it. And I know the blasphemy of those who say that they are Jews, and yet in fact they are the children of Satan. Don't be afraid of the trials you're about to face. Satan will cause some of you to be cast into prison, and you will be there for ten days, and some of you will die, but be faithful unto death, and I will give you a crown of life. So, we're not talking about a long, long thing, and, and no warning, per se, uh, other than to be faithful. I think that Jesus is telling us that a lot of times we go through, even when we are faithful and we don't see the importance of what we're doing. And I think that's, that's really very, very true. I remember when I was with the USS Dixie in the Christian Fellowship there, when I had first come to Jesus Christ. I was uh, 30 years old. And all I did was go about my daily life with Christ. I was a new Christian or I prayed every morning, I attended churches, I went about with a smile on my face the way I was told to do. I tried to address the Holy Spirit in all things I did. And halfway through that cruise, I was out playing guitar for uh, the, the pastor, doing something, and one of the other crewmen, who I'd never suspected, came up to me and said, You know, Fred, I've decided to recommit myself to Christ. I, great uh, fantastic and you know praise God and he says I just wanted you to know that it's because of what you did whoa what have I done and then I started to realize that it was just to witness Christ we don't all get to be the heroes we don't all get to be Jesus we don't get to be John the Baptist we don't all get to be apostles so what being faithful to Christ is what's important. Knowing that there is a Jesus Christ and that there is a Holy Spirit and that those things when applied to your life properly make a world of difference. It's so hard to say that and so easy to see it, isn't it? I mean it really is easy to see. You make the choices. You make the difference. When you go out in your life every day and you greet people with a smile, they smile back. When you go out in your life and you put the needs of others before yours, they realize that not everybody is selfish. They realize there is a hope. There is a chance. We will never be at peace until we truly understand that we are not meant always to lead, but to lead by example. If you want to be the driving force in peace, be peace. Don't encourage others to peace. Walk your life in peace. Because the confidence, the love, all of the things that you gain when you are in peace radiate from you like a sun. People will be drawn to it. You can change the world. 
Lord, we thank you for this time with the Word. We thank you for this day. We thank you for the blessing of your love and the blessing of our Lord in mercy, Jesus. Help us, Lord, to understand our roles in your daily life. Help us, Lord, to always hear the Spirit and to follow his leading. In the name of Jesus, we pray these things. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I have said it before. I will say it again. I had one brother call in and uh, write me a note and say, Well, Fred, how can I help you? How can I support your ministry? And I said, Spread the word. He said, What? I said, Spread the word. I said, You know, if, if you're not being led to send a donation, don't send one. If you're being led to send one, by all means, I'll tell you where to send it. But that's not the point. The point is, if you believe in this ministry, if you believe in what's being said, if you believe in what's being taught, don't keep it to yourself. Spread it. Give somebody else the link. Tell them, hey, look what we got here. Let them listen. Let them discern. Let them see for themselves. That's the mission. That's the ministry. Spread the word. You guys have a great, great day, a blessed day, and peace be with you. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine.